was scared. 20 minutes later, an ER doctor informs the family that Karen has lost a tremendous amount of blood, and her blood pressure is now dangerously low. They transfused uh, approximately four units of blood that night. They found what appeared to be bleeding ulcers. They believed that the bleeding was from the Crohn's disease. Karen's hemorrhaging so severely that her medical team is forced to make a radical recommendation. The doctors told us that Karen's complete lower intestine was just diseased and that there was no other way except to completely get rid of a lower intestine. I was shocked. Unfortunately, the only way to keep the disorder from killing Karen is to cut out her large intestine entirely. It means she'll have to wear an ostomy bag to collect waste for the rest of her life. Since they said that was the only solution, we just accepted it and then went ahead and had it done. I think it was a tough decision for them to make. I think they felt it was their only choice because they felt I might not live to make it to the hospital the next time. That night, Karen is wheeled into surgery as her anxious parents look on. I just remember feeling that I was tired of hurting. I wanted to get better. Naturally, I was worried the whole time she was back there. Six long hours later, the surgeon pronounces the operation a success.